everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Cameron if you are new here if you're not new welcome back um, I know that this setup is not glamorous so you can see I'm in my bathroom and what today's video is going to be is how I do my eyebrows and I do that in the bathroom so I have my little mirror set up right there and I'm going to show you how I do my eyebrows um, I posted this picture on my Instagram story being like nothing better than some fresh fresh done eyebrows I do them on my own whatever and I got a couple responses being like oh my god how uh, I was like I should have filmed it I should have filmed it and now for the sake of this video I've been waiting and letting my eyebrows get super unkempt and out of control so that I could show you how to do them myself. And I also am going to show you how I, I have like dark upper lip hair, which is normal for a lot of girls I know, but I just personally don't like it on myself, so I get rid of it. I used to get it waxed, but I have really sensitive skin and every time I got my lip waxed, this my skin came off, which was painful, and I had like a a scab mustache instead of a regular mustache so I started doing it by myself and I learned actually from one of Jacqueline Hill's videos that using these little um, like facial razors is really actually good for your skin and doesn't make the hair grow back thicker or darker and it's actually also really good for exfoliation so I do um, not just my upper lip, I do my face in between my eyebrows up here and sometimes under but I get a little nervous with this. It's not as like precise as I would like it to be and I also think that it helps my makeup go on a lot smoother and better because then it's not collecting in your little peach fuzz. So I would also like to say that when I was younger I had a unibrow and I will insert the picture here or somewhere on the screen of my lovely unibrow that I had and I didn't want to get it waxed until finally I was convinced she was like I won't take out any thickness I just would get rid of like the extra hair I did it finally got my eyebrows waxed I used to get made fun of for it but now everybody wants thick eyebrows and guess who doesn't have to get their eyes their eyebrows um microbladed me and guess who doesn't have to fill in their eyebrows when they do their makeup me so Thick eyebrows are the win. If you're out there and you have thick eyebrows and anybody tries to tell you that your eyebrows are too thick, don't listen to them. Your eyebrows are beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and get started on my eyebrows. I'm like full on in my bathroom and I'm getting this nice light from my makeup mirror. So I just washed my face and I like to do, I like to do this with a clean face. Um, not really sure why I just do just because I think that it's easier to get like the extra hairs off before I even do that I'm gonna go in with my little my little shaver blade thing here and do my upper lip and my cheeks because I've been letting it grow but you just hold it at an angle and kind of just go like this and you can, I don't know if you can see that like a good amount of hair there I haven't done this in a while wow that's a lot yeah so that's pretty much just what you do got some breakouts on my chin on my forehead because it is my time of the month um, and I did a face mask last night so it pulled everything to the surface I'm going to do the same thing I did on this side, on my left side, and I stop around here, just, I'm not really sure why I haven't committed to the full face yet, um, and then I'll show you what I do for my upper lip. Okay, I finished that spot. This lighting is really harsh for my skin. Um, anyway, but you can't really see the individual hairs, but you can definitely see that it's a little bit darker around my upper lip. And it's just really unnecessary shadow that I don't need on my face, so that's why I like to take it off. Um, 
Yeah, who wants facial hair on there? Not me. Some people, you know, to each their own, but not me. So I just, I go upwards um, against, the, against the follicle. You can literally already see a difference in the shadow on my face. This lighting literally makes me look like a zombie. Hello! Talk about realness. And then I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Okay, and that's done. Okay, now on to my eyebrows and just like my forehead area. So I have some right here as you can see sort of and they get really long and kind of come out here and up here as well and I get peach fuzz up here too so I just really really carefully because I don't want to take off a chunk of my eyebrow obviously really carefully go in between my eyebrows and just kind of like take away um, the little stubbles that are showing up just because it takes up less time than going in with my tweezers as to get all the little individual ones out this just is a lot simpler and quicker And as you can see when I'm doing that, I'm pulling on my skin just to kind of like, I guess pull away my eyebrow and I don't get, I don't get very close in there. I only get the in between and then I'll go in with my tweezers and get the pieces that are extra close to my eyebrow. For the tops, it's pretty simple. And I really just try and use the tip here because it's the, that's where it's the thinnest. Now for the other eyebrow. This one I find to be much more difficult to do than my um, right side. Like, can we see all that hair right there? That's crazy. I did that for y'all. Are we seeing this peach fuzz right now? <sighs> I don't know why, but just like taking the extra peach fuzz off my face makes my skin feel clearer and cleaner. I don't know, I think it's like a preference thing for sure, but um, I don't trust myself to get any closer on the sides here with this thing, so now I'm going to go in with my tweezers. I don't have a specific brand for my tweezers. They literally just came in this um, Vera Bradley like kit I don't know and I use the little scissors for for this as well that come in a little kit got that kit years ago as a gift um, from my very first dance studio that I went to actually um, anyway so when I do the underside of my eyebrows I brush my eyebrows up because I want to be able to clearly see the line of my um, eyebrow and I know that I am very lucky and that I have um, a pretty clear shape of my eyebrow and um, where the lines follow not everybody has that clear um, shape so if you're doing your own eyebrows and you don't really have a defined shape of your eyebrows I guess the thing that I would recommend is to take either um, like the NYX chubby uh, eyeliner pencil that's white and kind of map out where you want your eyebrow to be and what kind of shape you would like and then from that take take the little hairs away that way you have those guidelines and the shape that you want there are also a lot of like uh, eyebrow threading tutorials on YouTube and Instagram that show how they find the measurements of people's eyebrows to thread them and to wax them and that's kind of also how I learned to keep the shape of my eyebrows properly to just really pay attention to um, your natural shape so so now that we're looking crazy you can sort of see my extra little guys and I go on my tweezers and I just pull them out this process is probably that takes the longest because sometimes the tweezers don't fully grab the hairs and I have to keep going back until I fully can actually get it and this is what takes the most focus 
because you don't want to pull something out that shouldn't be pulled out. So I just took out all the stuff from the bottom and I'm pretty happy with that shape under on the underneath part and I'll just, I don't know what's going on here. Um, this eyebrow, I have trouble with gapping in the front. Um, it's not the end of the world. I know it's going to grow back. Um, that just tends to happen that you have these natural gaps in your eyebrows. And like I said before, I don't fill in my eyebrows. If I'm going to fill in my eyebrows, I take um, dark eyeshadow and I just line them. But I don't really fill them in because they're thick enough and dark enough as it is. And I just don't feel like they need to be any darker. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did here on the underside on this side as well. So brush them up. It's really, really a good look like this. I know. And I'm going to take out all of this stuff okay I just finished the other eyebrow and I also just realized that I should have taken a before picture but it is what it is next basically what I'm doing here is I'm brushing my eyebrows down <laughs> wow, that's really cute and I'm going to take off anything that is a little bit wonky shouldn't be there might look funny when I do brush up my eyebrows it's just adding things that don't need to be there really like belong or add or take away is the stuff I'm getting rid of okay in that time lapse you'll see or I hope anyway that I went in on the sides and I got rid of all of that extra hair that was over there um, and now for the part that I think is probably the most difficult just because it's what's making your eyebrows even and that is brushing them and then trimming them so that they're the same and this part always makes me nervous because I'm always worried that I'm going to take off too much which by the way you don't want to go in with a heavy hand when you're doing your eyebrows this looks really crazy um, because you don't want to take off too much so what I do is I brush them up like this and I take these guys, so here we go. So that's pretty much what I do. And again, well not again, but I don't take off everything from the underside to the upside because I like that natural brow look. I really look crazy talking to you with my eyebrows like, like, like this, but I'm not gonna go in and like completely take everything out because that's just not my vibe. Um, so if you're thinking, oh my god, her eyebrows still like are a little have like little pieces here and there, I do it on purpose. I'm not like going crazy ham hey, on my eyebrows. I like that they're full, I like that they're thick, I like that they look natural most times. So I'm going to finish trimming this eyebrow and I will show you. Okay, so I just trimmed this side. And I pretty much trim them to the point where I can literally brush them up entirely and they're pretty much all even. And as far as this goes right here, I'm not even going to touch it. I'm not going to worry about it because I feel like if I take it away, it's just going to look worse than if I were to leave it there. So it's just like some gaps in there and I have this one rogue eyebrow that's growing crooked. Don't know. Or eyebrow hair. Don't know why. But so yeah, that is one essentially complete. I might go in and take off these two hairs right here. Just because like they're kind of annoying. And sometimes what I do is I'll take the tweezers and I'll move the hair out of the way and see what it would look like if it was gone before I take it out if I'm questioning my decision. Um, and that usually helps me determine whether or not I should take it away. This eyebrow right here, this hair, super long. I don't know what she's doing. And then sometimes I'll stop in the middle and just kind of check where I'm at to see if how much I'm taking it off is good. And it is. You'll see here. Crazy. Nice. This eyebrow 
tends to look better than this one. Like I said, there's more growth on this eyebrow than there is on this one. Don't know why, but it is what it is. This is pretty much where I'll leave my eyebrows and I always try and brush them both up like this and I look really hard. I like stare into the mirror and I'm like, are they even, are they even? And they are, so. I don't know how I do it. I just kind of guess. It's like a guesstimate almost. And whatever I feel like looks the best and most even on my face, that's what I'll do. Um, I've been doing my own makeup and my own eyebrows for a very long time, um, all self-taught. So I think I'm just very used to the symmetrics of my face. But yeah, I'm gonna go in with tweezers and clean up some stuff around here and then I will show you the final product. Also, side note, I forgot to say where I got my little um, shaver from. I got mine from a beauty supply store at Temple on Broad Street, but I'm pretty sure you can get them on Amazon for pretty cheap. I'm pretty sure um, the two little ones, I have one at school and one here, and I'm pretty sure they were literally 99 cents and they were great. So that's where I got it from. Um, if I can find them on Amazon, I will link them down below. If I move to natural light, you can totally see where my skin is a little bit irritated. So. I sprayed my face with, there's a mirror behind me, <laughs> sprayed, my sprayed my face with the rose water spray just because that has, um, pretty sure it has aloe in it. So it's going to soothe from what I was doing here and under my eyebrows, obviously. Um, so yeah, like I said, I've got some major gappage here, but I'm just going to leave it because if I took it away, it would look even crazier. I also forgot to say that I also moisturized. I did the rose water spray and then moisturized, obviously, because moisturizer is key. And I also forgot to mention that I do it with a clean face because you always want a um, clean surface, clean skin when you're removing hair. Um, it's just better for your pores. So, yes. There's something else I wanted to say, but I forget. I think that's all I had to say. That is how I do my eyebrows. No idea if that's going to be helpful to anyone or not. It's just kind of what I've been doing for a really long time because I don't trust anyone with my eyebrows. I had a bad experience. With someone waxing my eyebrows one time and um, she just made them really thin and I hated it I love my thick eyebrows so yeah that is how I do my eyebrows hope you guys like this video if you like this type of video tutorial what I do that kind of thing don't forget to give it a like and comment if you like this and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because all of those things really support me um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!